This training video is an introduction to the Library Explorer in Automation Studio. We will tour the interface of the library, see how to navigate and search through all the components, as well as how to get a quick description of similar components. First, let's open the Library Explorer in Automation Studio and snap it to the side margin. There are a few ways to access this feature. Library Explorer is under the Home ribbon in the Components group. When you select the Library Explorer command, it shows and hides the Library Explorer main library. You can also use the shortcut key F9 to open the Library Explorer, and you can configure it in your Quick Access Toolbar as well. The interface is built with a command that allows you to work with and create a customized library. The main library, which is a default library installed with Automation Studio, displays all available modules. This main library is static. You cannot add symbols nor delete existing ones, but you can configure the library to suit your needs and preferences. The window below the main library displays the symbols of the components. If a symbol has a blue folder, it means there are other symbols that represent the same behavior. You can change the default symbol in the library by double-clicking on the symbol, selecting another one, and clicking Replace in the main library. In this case, we've just replaced the return valve symbol. To get a better view, you can change the size of the symbol by right-clicking on the blue folder. It allows you to increase and decrease the size as needed. Right-clicking also gives you access to all similar components or equivalent symbols. Snap the library to the side margin using the blue arrows. Now you're ready to start drawing a circuit and see how the Library Explorer makes it quicker and easier. Just select the symbol from the library and drag and drop it onto the diagram.